What's up guys? Welcome back to Veteran Aquatics. My name is Dylan and today we have a really exciting video for you. But before we go ahead and get started, make sure you smash the thumbs up and you hit that subscribe button so you can see future content, especially with what we're going to talk about today because it is really exciting. If you like fish, fish tanks, fish rooms, DIY ideas, if you want to see a huge fish room being built, make sure you subscribe. I'll be back in just a second. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm going to tell you up front that I'm going to put the exciting part towards the end of the video, so make sure that you stick around and watch it the whole way through. The first thing we're going to talk about, I got some new fish over the weekend. All right, they were fish that I've kind of been looking for and I've had a hard time finding uh, in the quality that I was looking for with the strains that I was looking for. Uh, so we're going to talk about those first. So I got some endlers. All right? I got three strains, I got six females, and I got four males. The ratio isn't ideal, but it's what the store had available, so I took it with me. So let's go ahead and take a look at those endlers. So the first pair I'm going to show you is this really awesome snakeskin endler. All right, he's a gorgeous yellow snakeskin color. It's really hard to get the camera to focus on him. He will not sit still. But he's absolutely gorgeous. When I saw him, I knew I had to have him, and I definitely want to line breed these. So the females, I was lucky. They are all unbred. They were separated from the males, so none of them were pregnant yet. So I'm able to line breed the endlers that I have very, very easily without having to worry about what they were crossed with, etc. So this is the first one, a really gorgeous yellow snake skin, and let's move on to the next one. So the next strain that I got, I got some chili lime green endlers. All right, I got two of these because there was enough difference in them where I wanted to have both of the males. There's three females in here. If I can get the camera to focus, these guys are really, really cool looking. All right, the one on the bottom is much brighter, whereas the one up top is darker. So I wanted to kind of combine the two. So I'm going to keep these in here, I'm going to line braid them, I'm going to let them go nuts and see what I can get out of them. All right, I've been looking for a nice Endler strain for a while and the store I went to fortunately had quite a few and I made sure I picked up all the ones I wanted. All right, we'll do a store tour of that video at some point, um, maybe Sunday night. Alright, so let's go on and move to the last strain. Alright guys, so this is the last one. It's going to be really hard to see it. But he is a gorgeous, bright orange color. I have no idea why my camera just won't focus correctly. There we go. Look at that. He's absolutely amazing looking. All right. And these guys have been going nuts since I put them in here with the females because they were separated. So I'm line breeding all three of these strains. Right? And I'm going to try to produce as many as possible. I love endlers, I think they're gorgeous fish, and I don't think they get enough attention in the hobby. So that's the three strains, guys, but make sure you stay tuned because I'm going to be talking about something that is amazing and really exciting, something that I didn't think was going to happen for many, many years, but it's coming and it's coming quick. Alright, so stay tuned. Another thing I wanted to show you guys was the 90 gallon tall. So I've got a light on it, I've got a heater, i got a filter. I got some nice sword plants in there. I'm going to get more plants for it eventually, but because of what we're about to talk about in a minute, I may not get a chance to set it up. Right? I don't know if I want to do discus or if I want to do angelfish or if there's something else that I can put in a tank like this. It's an awesome footprint for something like angelfish, somebody that needs a really tall tank. It's not great for cichlids because it's not too long, but it is nice and wide and it is very, very tall. So if you have any ideas what I could put in this tank besides angelfish or discus, or if you want to you know, put your input in on as to whether I should keep discus or angelfish in this tank, make sure you let me know in the comments below. All right, so we're going to move on here and we're going to talk about the reason I really made this video and why it's so exciting. So now it's time for the big reveal, the reason that I made this video, the reason you guys have stuck around. This is so exciting and I, I just, I really can't wait. I'm so excited for this. I'm excited for the process and I'm super excited for the end result. So you guys know that I love things like arowana and stingrays, things that take 8 foot tanks, massive tanks. I want big fish. And I can't fit them in the fish room as it is now. I can't fit them in this house even we don't have anywhere large enough for them. Now, my wife is 
National Guard, but she's active duty, so she, that's her day job as well as her you know entire occupation. She just took a promotion from sergeant to staff sergeant. So let's take a moment, let's congratulate her. Good job, honey, I'm so proud of you. That's really awesome, you made staff really fast, and I just, I'm unbelievably proud of you and how, how well you've done in the Army. And moving on from there, with that promotion, we have to move. Now, I've moved with fish before, it's not fun, I'm not excited for it. What that does mean is I probably won't be adding too much more to this fish room as it's gonna come down. What it also means is we're buying another house. That is the exciting part. So we're looking for a house. We need something with either a huge finished basement, an insulated and heated attached or detached garage that has electricity run to it, right? So we're looking for space, and, and I love her. She's great because, you know, we're looking for a house. It's a really short-term thing, and we have to do it really fast, but we're still taking the time. You know, she's taking the time, and she's been, you know, so supportive that we're taking the time to find a place that will allow me to have a bigger, nicer fish room. Okay, so not only are we getting a new house, a bigger house, but we're finding a house where I can finally build the fish room that I want. And that's so exciting to me, guys, because I get to start from the ground up. What I'll do is I'll set up my tanks temporarily just to house the fish, and then I'm gonna start the build process. Being that I get to build this one from scratch, I'm gonna do it right. So I'm talking an air system for the whole room, right? There's not going to be any separate pumps anymore. I'm going to run an entire PVC air system. So you guys will be able to stay tuned and see how I do that. I want to do an auto water change system if it's got the room. Some of the houses have the room for it. Some of them don't. So if I can, I'm going to build an auto water change system. I'm also going to make sure I st stack the tanks higher so I can fit more. I'm going to make sure I paint all the tanks, I'm going to make sure I paint all the stands, and you guys are going to get to see every bit of it. I'm going to do my best to record as much of the new construction of the new fish room as possible. Now this isn't going to happen for a couple of months, but I wanted to let you guys know that you definitely want to hit the subscribe button because you are going to want to see how I do this. right? I'm going to learn a ton myself, and in turn I get to teach you guys a bunch of new stuff. So if I can make an auto water change system that's going to be great it's going to be really interesting you know to be able to show you guys that and to learn that with more room more tanks bigger tanks more fish bigger fish so make sure you guys subscribe because there's going to be a lot of stuff coming up that you're going to want to see a lot of really exciting awesome fish awesome tanks awesome DIY projects stuff that I'm so excited to be able to bring you All right. so like I said make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you leave a comment and hit the thumbs up Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys so much. As always, have a phenomenal day, and I'll see you next time.